Hey, it's Mike here from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to fade in and out music automatically when you record a voiceover. Okay, here we are in Adobe Audition, and here's our music bed on track one in the multi-track. And uh, I'm just going to go to track two, hit the record button there, so I'm armed for recording, and record something. Hi, it's Mike here. Just wanted to, um, well, it'd be great if I could fade this music in and out so that it's loud when I'm not talking and quiet when I'm talking. Now you'll see there nothing happened initially because I haven't set anything up yet. Hi, it's Mike here. It's very hard to hear my voice. So this is the easiest way to do it and it's called side chaining, just for your, your knowledge bank there. <laughs> so on track one, we want to go into track one right here, select that to be active, go to the effects rack and we want to add a dynamics processing, uh, a compressor basically. Go to the default, and I'm just going to drag this down a little bit here to be around there, and then I'm gonna move this down to make that quite a, a harsh compressor. And you'll hear how harsh that is if I solo this out and play it. A super powerful crush there on the music. Don't worry though, it's not gonna apply for that long because we're gonna go into the sidechain input which is going to be a stereo input because uh, I've got a stereo track could be as well mono because voice is mono uh, and just make sure all our side chain settings are looking good there which they are okay brilliant so you could, with me so far we have side chain the compressor now if I play the compressor is having no effect because it's being side chained uh, now we want to go over here to the sends and we want to go down here to s1 which currently says none, and you'll see sidechain is there. Dynamics processing on track one, slot one. That's what we want to do. Select that up and then take this out of solo. Hi, it's Mike here. Just wanted to, um, and can you hear that the ducking is going on there already? Uh, now, if I go back to that dynamics processing effect, uh, by the amount of dynamics processing we add, that will decide how harsh the fade in and out will be. Hi, it's Mike here. Just wanted to, um, well, it'd be great if I could fade this music in and out so that it's loud when I'm not talking and quiet when I'm talking. So obviously you can change the compressor, so, uh, compressor or compressor so that it's harsh or less harsh depending on the effect you're going for. But that's basically how you do it. You go to track one, set up a compressor, make sure that it is a stereo sidechain there. Okay, that's the sidechain input. Uh, then you want to go to track two and record something up. Uh, once you've done that, you want to go over here to sends and you want to send that to your sidechain compressor on track one and then all the magic happens inside a Adobe Audition. How do you get on with this? Let me know in the comments and I'd love to hear exactly how you're using Sidechain in your projects.